Hi, this is Linda Jennings with Backyard Biodiversity. I'm going to see if this guy will stand still for me. <laughs> so I wanted to introduce you today to stinging nettles. So Urtica dioica, and this is something you do not want to be touching. So we're about at the beginning of June in Vancouver, and this is now blooming. It's about uh, in my area, in this shady area, it's, it's actually taller than me, so it's almost seven feet tall in my area. This is going to be something that's real inconspicuous. The flowers are not really obvious. It really doesn't stand out and it tends to be kind of embedded with other plants. But what I want to make sure of is when you're going to maybe go and grab some of those yummy berries of thimble berries or, um, or of uh, salmon berry, we want to make sure you don't run into one of these. So um, again, this is something that's going to sting you. It's on the leaves. The little hairs are there to guard from predators. But again, that's going to hurt you if you actually end up touching it and it can give you a little bit of a tingling and then maybe even some blisters if your skin reacts to it. So I want you to know this plant to appreciate that it's got this great predatory stinging to keep all those insects away. But I'm going to show you right here, if you see these guys don't care because this is the brand new growth and those stinging nettles are not quite out on that new growth yet. And so they're able to get on there and try to get those nutrients out of this plant before it really puts on that layer of stinging. So the new growth here at the tip is really easy for predators to go after, but once it lays down those hairs, you're not going to see any more predators at the base, right? So again, this is a great plant to know, but a great plant to avoid stinging nettles.